Hello, um, I'm not sure whether it's pronounced GUI or GUI, so I'm just going to pronounce it both ways throughout this series. Okay, so this is the first um, video in the uh, GUI tutorial series. Yep. So in this video, it's not going to be much scripting, well there is going to be a bit of scripting, but it's going to be like the first video of the basic tutorials where I just went through the properties of different parts. Um, and that's what this tutorial is going to be like, but with GUIs instead of parts. Okay, so before you even start this tutorial series, I suggest that you go through my basic tutorials and my advanced tutorials, because I'm not going to be explaining different things like script-wise in this tutorial series. I'm just going to get right into the script when it comes to scripting GUIs. Okay, so make sure you have seen my uh, basic and advanced tutorial series before you start this one. Okay, so let's get started. To insert a GUI into a player screen, you need to first select start a GUI or start a GUI, whichever one. Uh, so select it, uh, go to insert basic objects, <coughs> okay, and then you can insert find uh, screen GUI okay here we go screen GUI you need you need to insert this into the start of GUI in order to start making GUIs okay oh, hold on someone's at the door okay so you may find that I'm going to be pausing this video uh, quite a lot because stuff is happening okay anyway so where were we oh yes inserting the screen GUI into the starter GUI okay this is like the base for it's like a, it's like a folder that you need that you put all your GUIs into okay so you've got the main folder which is starter GUI um, let's actually call it GUI I prefer that yeah so you've got your starter GUI which is here it's, the, it's like the main folder okay then you've got your screen GUI you put it inside the starter GUI okay that's just you just need to do that okay because this screen GUI is going to hold all your components to the uh, to the GUI that you're going to see on the actual screen okay so with this screen GUI you can't actually do anything to it to change the appearance of anything this is just like a folder to store your stuff in and you need it there otherwise your GUI won't work okay so let's start adding bits to it uh, you can add anything you can add either a text box text button text label or frame I'm going to add a frame because frames are like it's better to keep things organized in a frame rather than just to s like put text boxes and text buttons all over the place. Um, if you put everything into a frame and then you can have multiple frames in your screen GUI, then it keeps things more organized. So you'll you'll start to get it when I start to add bits to it. Okay, so let's add a text. But no, a text label that will keep things simple. So your layout should look like this: you've got your starter GUI, you've got your screen GUI, your frame, and your text label. Okay. Um, now let's see. Let's change the size of this text label. Now, if you go to the size bit, you see that it's a bit different to the vector three values that you were using with parts. This is actually a UDIM two value. UDIM value, okay? It's slightly different because it's got four different properties you can change. Let's expand it a bit. So if you expand it out, you can see you've got X, Y, then inside your X and Y you've got scale and offset. Okay, so your scale, uh, it goes from 0 to 1. You don't need to do anything bigger than from 0 to 1. So 1 would be obviously the biggest uh, X scale that I can make in at the moment. Um, I'm trying to think of a way to explain it. So you can see that my actually no, let's go to the frame first. We need to actually make the frame bigger before we can start to make the text label bigger. So go to the frame. Okay, select the frame. Go to the size scale. Scale it. Let's make it 0 0.5 scale and 0 0.5 scale under Y. Okay. That will make it half the size of my screen x wise horizontally and half half the size of my screen vertically, okay, so that is how big the frame is now because I've made it zero point five, and that means it's half 
the size that I'm going to say, how can I explain it? That means it's half uh, the size relative to what folder it's in. Okay, so the frame is inside a screen GUI, and because the screen GUI covers all of this screen, if I say 0 0.5, 0 0.5, then this frame will be halfway down vertically and halfway across horizontally. Okay, because this text label is inside my frame, let me just change the color of my text label to make it easier for you to see the difference. Okay, so my text label is inside my frame. If I made my text label uh, 0 0.5 scale and 0 0.5 scale x and y then my text label would be half the size of my frame horizontally and half the size of my frame vertically okay so you can see that my text label is half the size of whatever is whatever folder it's in okay if i were to put my text label inside the screen GUI folder then it'd be the same size as the frame because they are both they're both 0 0.5 uh scaled but they're both in the screen GUI as well but if I put it, if I put the text label inside the frame, then because it's in the frame, it's half the size relative to the frame, okay, and not the sc um, not my actual screen, okay. So you should understand it slowly when we start to actually use them a bit more. But well, I hope you understand this so far. Now I'm going to explain some other bits like uh, position, okay, position. Um, when you get this UDIM value, the first, you see these curly braces, the curly brackets, okay? You've got two values inside the curly braces. Um, because it's unexpanded, you can tell which values is wh are which by looking at the first curly brace, right? The first value is the X scale, second value is the X offset. Uh, third value here is the Y scale, fourth value is the Y offset. So if I were to change the X scale, position wise by 0 0.1 say then it would move my whole frame uh, relative to the whole screen 10% uh, to the right okay so the margin on the left would be like 10% uh, relative to the whole screen okay so you've also got to take into account the actual size of the GUI itself so if it's smaller actually wait no the size uh, let me just quickly try something yeah, that works. So basically what it does is it takes the border from the left of the actual GUI. So if I say 0 0.1, it will take 10% of the screen, okay, and it starts from the left. So if you just have a play around of these values, just play around with the values and see what you get. But that's what I do really when I'm making something, uh, when I'm making a GUI. I just play around with the different values, um, use a scale, obviously, don't use the offset for now. Um, so yeah, play around with it and see what it does. Now you do notice when I put 0 0.35 in there, it does this to the size. It says 0 0.3499999 and it just goes on. Okay, So that's normal for it to happen. 0 0.35 is equal to whatever value it changes it to. So I put in 0 0.35, as you can see here, it changed it to 0 0.4999 uh, recurring, but that's exactly the same as 0 0.5, so you don't need to really get worried about that. Okay, just accept how it does it. Now, um, so what else can I show you? Oh yeah, same thing with the text label, if I were to change the position to 0 0.5 near X, uh, it'd move it all the way to the right, but that's because halfway down the frame, because we're taking, <laughs> I'm really bad at explaining this, because we're taking the left side of this text label, okay, the left side is halfway down the frame, if that makes sense. The left side of this text label is halfway down the frame, so I've changed it to 0 0.5. If I were to change it to 0 0.1, the left side would be 10% of the way down the frame. Okay, you'll understand it more when you play around with the values, right? So that is how you do text labels, text uh, text labels, frames. You can change other different properties. So you can change the background color by going background color that uh, of the frame, and then there's also the style of the frame you can change by doing that. So go to the properties of the frame, uh, go to style change it to, I don't know, chat red, it changes the style of the frame. 
Uh, if you want to customize your own style, obviously change it to custom. Uh, the, the one I like the best is Roblox Round. It gives this rounded rounded edges, okay, and that's the one I like the best because you get rounded edges and it just looks nice. But if you want to customize it yourself, straight edges and change it to custom. Change the border border size. If you don't want a border, change the border size to zero, okay. So you just do that. Um, if you don't want to see it, change the visible to false, okay. So this is a feature that I want to quickly show you. When I make the frame invisible, so go to the visible property of the frame, change it to false, it, get ris it gets rid of the text label as well. That's because the text label is inside the frame. Okay. If I were to make the text label invisible, it would just get rid of the text label and not the frame. Okay. It should be pretty obvious because the text label is inside the frame. So if I make the frame invisible, it would make the text label invisible as well. If I were to put something inside the text label and make the text label invisible, then it'd make whatever's inside the text label invisible as well as itself. Okay, so yeah, that I'm now going to show you a little bit of scripting. Um, let me just insert a script into the screen GUI. Now I'm going to show you the UDIM, UDIM values. Okay. This is the value that I want to show you. I'm not going to show you things like changing properties like visible, because that's just going to be a true and false value. So visible dot vi uh, uh, frame dot visible equals true or false. Uh, same thing with style. Frame dot style equals chat red as a text uh, string value. Uh, same thing for uh, C Z index. It'd be an integer value. So Z index is a property that you have not seen yet. It basically means ha uh, how do I explain it? It's like the frame. If you want the frame to be in front of the text label, then you change the z index of the frame to higher than the z index of the text label. So let me. I'm going to try and explain it like this using Paint.net. Okay. So. I've got my first layer here, right? I've got my second layer here, okay? Say this here, this bottom layer, is the frame, and this top layer is the text label, okay? So the text label is obviously higher up than the frame. So I'm going to see the text label uh, first on the screen and not the frame. Basically, what happens is it Oh, for goodness sake, I can't explain it. I'm so bad at this. Um, let me just quickly draw something out. Here's my screen, okay? The red is the frame, and the green is the text label, okay? The Z index of the text label is obviously higher than the frame because I can see the text label. But if I were to make the Z index of the frame bigger than the text label, okay? So say the text, uh, text label Z index is 1, and the frame set index is two. I would see. I wouldn't see the the text label because the frame would be on top of the text label because it's got a higher Z index than it. Okay. So hopefully that makes a bit more uh, sense. But if it doesn't, then again play around with the values and see what you can do. So if I make the text label Z index three, which is now higher than the frame Z index then I will see the text label and not the frame. Okay, We will be playing around with these values a bit more in later tutorials. This tutorial is just to give you a rough idea of what these things are. So, yeah, just a rough idea. Um, so, in later tutorials we will be playing around with the values a bit more. So, hopefully you will understand it a bit more in the other tutorials that I'm going to be doing. And I don't know what's, what's up with my explorer. It's kind of broken, but... Anyway let's play around with the script now to change the size property I just want to quickly show you how to change the size so I'd get the uh, script dot parent dot frame dot size equals udim two dot new so it's like vector three values uh, you say vector three dot new with a GUI or GUI you say udim dot uh, udim two dot new and that is how to change the size or position 
of uh, GUI. So I just entered the four different values. So my scale for x, 0 0.5. Uh, let's make it 0 0.8 actually. My offset for x, which is 0. Uh, my scale for y, which can be 0 0.1. And my s offset for y, which is 0. Okay. So now if I were to press play, it would change the size of my frame, which it's not doing. I don't know why. Uh, let's see. Script or parent the frame dot size equals you didn't new yeah that should work. Uh, maybe I'm not doing something right. <coughs> oh, I know why. Because I'm supposed to play solo. Okay, so here we go. You can see now that I've played solo. Um, I can see that the size of my GUI has changed to 0 0.8 uh, x of uh, uh, scale and 0 0.1 y scale. Okay, so when you want to change the size or position of the GUI, you need to actually play solo. Now, anything else that I need to show you? Uh, this is this. This is just a script that you need. Uh, just play around with this. Uh, let me show you offset now. Offset is just. Let me just show you. It's better if I show you rather than explain. Let's make the offset of the X 100. You see how it's uh, made the size bigger by 100 pixels. I think it's pixels, yeah. <coughs> so it made the size bigger by 100 pixels. That's what the offset is. It just changes the amount of pixels uh, the offset is. So if I said uh, position 0 0.25 scale in the X direction and minus 100 pixels in the Z direction offset, I mean X direction offset, it would move the uh, GUI 100 pixels to the left, okay? Because the offset is 100 pixels to the left. And same thing for Y. Let's just make the offset 100 pixels downwards. Whoops, that's 1,000. 100 pixels downwards, and it just made it downwards by 100 pixels. So, just to let you know, it's better to use scale rather than offset because in uh, when you have a game, people have different size screens, okay? People have different size screens, so not everyone's going to have the same size screen. So if you use scale, then the scale of the GUI is going to be exactly the same on everyone's screen. But if you use offset, then so for someone who has a different size screen, it's going to be slightly different, uh, the GUI layout. So just use scale, not offset. Okay. This tutorial, to me, didn't really make much sense, but it does give you a rough layout of what GUIs are meant to look like and someone's at the door so I'm going to have to go get it again okay so before this tutorial gets too long and confusing I'm going to end it now uh, just play around with the properties of the GUI that I've told you so far so make sure you've got that screen GUI there um, for anything to actually show on the screen you need to have that screen GUI then insert all the components that you want inside the GUI okay so that's all you've got to do uh, play around with the size and position. So if you want position, just same thing. Uh, position. Um, position is also a UDIM2 value, so just play around with that. So just remember this. First two values, X scale, X offset. Second two values, Y scale, Y offset. So play around with that. See what you can do. See what you can make. Make something nice. And in the next tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to actually make an interactive uh, GUI or how to make your GUIs more interactive, okay? So that's all for now, and I'll see you next time. Bye.